So we've broken up some of the pigmentation. Now remember, the melanocyte is active. It keeps over producing pigmentation. Remove, come back, remove, come back. So we want to make the coming back, the synthesis of new melanin slower. So we tackle the other three, inflammation. Now we know that happy fibroblasts suppress the naughty melanocyte. And remember, melasma is a chronic skin disease. It's like high blood pressure, it's like diabetes. Chronic. Take medicine, inject, blood sugar comes down, blood pressure comes down, stop, comes back. So we need to continually treat everything. When we are trying to decrease the inflammation, we stimulate the fibroblasts to synthesize new collagen and elastin. Skin gets thicker, younger looking. Now skin ages and we lose collagen and elastin, about the rate of about 2% a year. So skin gets thinner. So by stimulating the fibroblasts, just like you stimulate the myoblasts to grow muscles, skin gets thicker. So it's a nice side effect of decreasing the inflammation, trying to control the melasma.